part of it. I mean, that's how our team works. You know, one guy does a good job, the next guy comes in. And uh, that's an awesome job by Scroggins, obviously, coming in and um, being an older guy, being in that situation. You picked him up, and that's what you're supposed to do, and that's why we're continuing to have success. Redemption, is that the biggest thing now for you guys? Absolutely. We're ready. We're ready to get back and prove that, you know, we deserve it this year. You get Florida State. I don't know how much you've watched them or paid attention to them. You get them first game of the series. I haven't really watched much of it, but uh, they better watch out. We're coming. Dave, I guess in the huddle, said that this has probably been one of the more rewarding years of his career to be a part of it. What, how special is that? Yeah, no, I mean, he said it. And for me, too, you know, our team was great last year, but the way these guys compete for each other, it's not just a me thing, it's, it's a team thing, and um, uh, that goes a long ways for us. When you look at that 2018 and 19 out there, and I know you've been a part of two teams your first two years to go to the World Series, what's that like? Huge accomplishment, um, coming from such a small town with big dreams like this. Never thought that something like this would be possible. And now I can honestly say, you know, later on in my career, or wherever it ends or whatever happens, I can look back and say, you know, I was there, I was part of that, and I was able to help that team. How big were those first two games for you just kind of getting going again offensively? Gave me a lot of confidence, honestly, moving up and um, in our season, obviously. And, you know, I was just happy to get the Ofer out of the way. And now I can just go out there and have fun. What did you Think of uh, Opus today, three hits, four RBIs in the seventh spot. Yeah, we were talking about it. It's just a matter of time for him and Heston clicked, and look at him. I mean, dude just clicked, and, man, that's just awesome to see from him. He's, he's been grinding all year. I know he's been kind of struggling a little bit lately, but, you know, that, that's a part of it. And just proud of him keep his head up and uh, just keep grinding. How big of a piece is he to this team? He's kind of, I guess he kind of seems like a heartbeat because he, you know, he can knock in runs, but he's also kind of in charge of the pitching staff too. Yeah, no, that's awesome. He's just, just a leader, and that's what we need. Jason, we came in a little bit late here, but describe the emotion that hit you right there. It's just speechless. Um, after a year like last year, you know, and losing everybody we had, we just thought that it might have been over. And I know there's a lot of doubts and a lot of fans, but um, man, this team is something different. And, you know, I'm just happy I was able to be a part of it. And these guys, they, they work their tails off all year. And I'm just super proud of them. And, you know, they'll continue to do that until their career is over. Is that what hit you right there to be in tears like that? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's just awesome. You know, that's it's not a high thing. Um, nothing on this field with these guys is about themselves. It's always about one another. And um, the coaches are constantly reminding us that in the dugouts during the games that, you know, just because you're 0 for 4 with four strikeouts, do it for him. I mean, dude's working his tail off. You know, why not? And they're right. I mean, that's what makes us successful. Now that you're there, does vengeance for what happened last year creep into your mind? Oh yeah, absolutely. We're ready to go all the way. <laughs>